Hey guys, Crypto Juni with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about the Kiro coin and how you set up the masternode. I saw several questions inside the group's chat that people have some issues with setting up a masternode. Even myself as a non-developer, it can be sometimes very hard to do. But in today's video, I will tell you exactly how you can set it up and even your grandmother from 80 years old can do it after this video. So let's not wait any longer and let's go to the first step. Yes guys, so this is the first step of your masternode. Right now, we need to go to the GitHub of Kiro. Inside the GitHub of Kiro, we need to download the Ubuntu file with behind it 18. It's important that you click Ubuntu 18. Inside my description, I will put the direct link to the GitHub of Kiro. Create somewhere on your computer a file called Kiro Demon. As you can see on my screen, call it the same name. Somewhere you can find very easy. After, go to your downloaded Ubuntu file and put it inside the just created folder. After you put the file inside the folder, you, we're gonna extract the file so we create a new folder inside the same folder we just made. I will show it on my screen if it's something is unclear. We now have two folders inside our Kiro Demon folder. The one is the Ubuntu file, the zip file, and one is the extracted file. So in the next step, we will set up our VPS computer. So go to vpsag.com. I will put inside the description uh, the link. And after we are on the website, we need to scroll down. And after scrolling down, you can see different, several packages. It's important that you click on the second one. Why? Inside the master node description on the Kiro website, you can find you need a minimum of two gigabyte RAM and also a 25 gigabyte of disk space. So the first one is 20. So we need to choose the second one to reach the minimum of 25. Now we click on order now. We scroll down. Make sure you click the second one. We scroll down to Ubuntu. We click on more options. Click on 18 because we downloaded the 18 file and set up your VPS computer by filling in your information. It's important to know that um, after filling in your information and the payment, it can take up to 10 to 30 minutes to uh, have your VPS computer set up. So it takes some time, take a drink and come back after some minutes. First, click on my servers. You can find it on the top. After clicking on my servers, you can see your server is installed. It needs to be status OK. Click on view details. And now you can see your password to log in. You can find on the right side your IP address. We also need it for the next step. So, so the next step is downloading Bitvice. What is Bitvice? Bitvice is a program you can use to connect with the VPS server you, you just created. So click on download and download the SSH file. So after downloading Bitvice, we will open the program. After opening the program, you can see a menu. We need to fill in the host. We need to fill in the IP address vpsag.com gave us. So fill in the IP address, fill in port 22. Username will be root. And here you can see initial method, change it to password. Click on store encrypted password in profile and fill in the password also from vpsag.com. Uh, in the what, we, what I show you in the previous step. Fill it in and then after log in. After logging in, on the left side, click on new SVTP window. You can find it on the left side. Do you remember what we did in the first step? We created a folder called Kiro Demon. We need to put the folder on the left side and on the right side, we need to go to slash USR slash bin. It will open up our uh, folder on the, on the VPS computer and on the left side now we have our daemon Kiro file. We need to upload several files to our VPS computer. Click on the left side on Kiro line CLI and Kiro ND and click on upload. Now we uploaded the two files to our VPS computer. To control if we did it successful, we fill in the filter bar KII. Now the two files will pop up on the right side 
And as you can see on my screen, I also have a folder called KiroCoin, but you don't see it yet because we're gonna set up that right now. Now, click with your mouse on the right button and click on create folder. Name it dot Kiro coin. It's important to have the dot in the front. Inside the folder, we click again on the right button of the mouse and click on create file. Name it Kiro coin dot CONF. Open up the notepad file and fill in your username. It can be anything, just uh, fill in anything. Also the password we need to fill in, but it also can be anything, so just fill something in random. And after, we need to fill in our IP address. Uh, it's the same address as we filled in from our VPS server, so fill it in here. And now you can see Znode BLS private key. This one we need to generate. So keep this notepad open. So we first need to go to the Kiro wallet on our own Windows computer. In case you already have a Kiro wallet, you can skip, skip this step. But if in case you don't have a Kiro wallet yet, follow these steps to download it. So go to the Kiro wallet GitHub. Click on Windows 64 and download it. Go to the folder and extract the file. Inside the new folder, click on Kiro coin QT. It will open up the Kiro wallet. Inside the wallet, click on help and click on debug window. It will open up a pop-up and click on console. Now write BLS space generate. It will generate your public and private key. Now copy paste the private key of the BLS generate into your Kiro coin config file. Click on save and you now successfully set up your master node on the VPS computer. Right now we are gonna test if the master node is live. Go back to the Bitfice menu and click on new terminal console. It will open up a new window. Inside the window write Kiro coin D space line daemon. Click on enter and now uh, fill in Kiro coin line C L I space get info. After you will get this uh, notification and it will mention that your node is successfully set up. Congratulations. So the next step is creating four wallets. How you can do this? Go to your Kiro wallet, click on help, debug window and click on console. Go to the text bar and write get new address master node one i will not click myself on enter because i already have several wallets and i don't want to create a new one but click on enter after writing get new address master node one you can call it whatever you want but we need to create four so we want to categorize everything so the first one is master node one the next one will be get add new address owner click on enter it will give you a new address and the next one will be payout click on enter it will give you a new address and now we again do get new address fee click on enter you successfully now created four new wallets it can be smart to save everything at one place so open a notepad Copy paste all the four addresses and put it inside the notepad and save it. It's now time to fund our Kiro wallet. Send 1005 tokens from the exchange to your Kiro wallet on your desktop. You can do this by clicking on receive, fill something in inside the label, amount 1005, it can be anything. Click on request payment and send 1005 tokens to the wallet. After some time, you will receive the 1,005 Kiro tokens inside your desktop wallet. The next step is clicking on settings, encrypt wallet. Fill in the password that will protect your wallet. After protecting your wallet, click on options and inside options, enable coin control futures. So the next step is sending exactly 1,000 Kiro tokens to our masternode wallet. Where can you find your masternode wallet and how do you can send Kiro tokens to it? Go to send, click on input. After clicking on input, select your wallet 
that you want to send your Kiro tokens off. And then we put in pay to the masternode wallet. Go to your notepad because you saved all your uh, wallet addresses inside your notepad. Copy paste it and send exactly 1000 Kiro tokens to it. It's important to send exactly 1000. And don't click on subtract free from amount because it's important to send 1000 tokens exactly. So the next step is sending some tokens to your fee wallet. How are you gonna do this? Go back to send, click on input, select the wallet with some Kiro tokens left. Go back, go to pay to. Inside pay to, we will fill in the fee wallet. So inside our notepad, we have our fee wallet, copy it and paste inside pay, pay to and send three to four Kiro tokens to it. So the next step after sending the fee tokens to our fee wallet is generating some code. So go back to the debug window, click on console and write down a false node output. Click on enter. I will not click on enter because I already did it, but click on enter, copy paste the generated code inside your notepad with your wallets because we will need it for the next step. This step can be sometimes very hard because you need to fill in exactly what is asked for. So I will put inside the description an overview of all this information, but uh, I will tell you step by step what you need to fill in. So the first step is copy paste this long sentence at the top inside your notepad because it's easier to edit it. Keep pro prot X register, keep it the same. Then we get to coloration hash. This can be found of the EFOS node output of our previous step. So copy paste it collateral hash. And the next step is collateral index. Most of the time this is zero, but you can find it also in your notepad. Fill in the number zero or one. It depends on what, what the output was. Now we get back to your IP and port. So fill in your IP address, two dots, port 8999. The next one is owner address. Go to your notepad, copy paste the owner address from your notepad, paste it here, operator public key. This one can be found at the step when we generated BLS generate. Copy paste your public key there. Voting address is the same as the owner address. Now we get to the operator reward, fill in zero. It is already filled in inside um, my overview. And now we get to the payout address, go to your notepad, copy paste your payout address. And the next one is the fee source, copy paste your fee address. Select all and send it inside the debug window. If you fill in everything correctly, you will get a green text and it says that your node is successfully uploaded. Congratulations, you have successfully uploaded your master node. This is the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions, ask the team of Kiro inside the Discord or ask it in the comments. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, click on subscribe and I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, enjoy your master.